Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Lectures in Lab Coats. My name is Sparks, and I will be your lovely lab-coated lecturing Let's Player for today. We're on the edge of my test world today, and um, we're looking at this little contraption down here. Um, this was a suggestion by Mile26, I think I'm pronouncing that right, who suggested I try and make a jetpack in vanilla Minecraft. And this is the jetpack. It slows your descent down quite nicely. Uh, some of you may already have worked out how I'm doing this. Uh, you can see I'm currently wearing a parachute chest plate. If I take that chest plate off, I will no longer be able to glide, so I can jump off here. It'll hurt, but if I put the parachute chest plate on, it will um, allow me to gently fall to the ground. Um, so this is actually just this little system here. It's not too complicated or big at all, and it relies on a diamond chest plate being worn that is called parachute. So um, that only costs one level to make. So we can go over here, we can put our um, diamond chest plate here into the anvil. And in, this is in the snapshot, of course. And we can name it parachute. Costs one level to, to name. And we can put that on, like so. And now the parachute is activated. There's a slight, slight interesting thing with this parachute in that uh, it can allow you to double jump if you time it right, like that. So you can jump up to sort of slightly higher places. Uh, but very simply how it works, uh, there's a small clock running here, this is a hopper clock, uh, which is constantly checking. Oops, I should be in um, creative for this, I guess. Uh, it's constantly checking this long command here, this will be in the description, it's testing for all, uh, for the nearest player, and this only works in single player, um, for an inventory with this slot, uh, checking that they have the diamond chest plate named parachute in their inventory and is worn in the correct slot. And if that succeeds, it turns on this speedy clock here, uh, which goes up here and it powers these two command blocks. This one over here is um, filling the space below the player, directly below the player, with a barrier block, which is the new invisible block they've got. Uh, and it only, it actually, it's actually doing a fill and replace, so it's only replacing air. And that way, we can make sure that we never destroy any redstone or other blocks. It's only if, the, if there's air below you will it actually place that barrier block. And then one tick later, it uh, has this second command here, which for a 10, uh, for a 5x5, five five, well no, a 10x10x10 10 10 10 square around you, it replaces all barrier blocks with air so that way you don't get any barrier box blocks left lying around and I can actually change this to uh, stone to show it working better I could put a uh, stone here as well and then you can actually see it in action uh, so if I stand on the edge of this block here you can see it slowly replaces and deletes these barrier blocks and it allows you to you can walk around while while gliding down it's a fairly nice falling speed you don't take any damage and it's actually possible if you jump, uh, you can actually more or less maintain your height. Uh, so you can you can travel quite far distances fairly slowly through the air, which is it's really cool. And it took me a little while to work out how best to do this. If you use relative teleportation and just teleport people up, when they hit the ground, they've got such a high fall uh, fall count because it doesn't reset their fall count that they just instantly die because they they just fall to their death. So this is my solution. It's basically breaking your fall every block. Uh, it does slightly mess up uh, just regular jumping sometimes. You can see there's a bit of a jolt sometimes, but um, I mean, it'll only be active. This this fast clock is a bit laggy, so as soon as you take the parachute chest plate off, you see that the clock actually turns off. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, let me know what you think, and if you have any other suggestions, feel free to make them. Uh, I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Mm.